Good morning, good evening. Thank you so much for continuously watching our videos. So today we are going to talk about chronic periodontitis. Following our previous videos, we've been talking about chronic marginal gingivitis, which we talked about as the disease of the gum, or what we call perio, what we call gingivitis. So today we are we also had another video about alveolar bone, the bone which supports the tooth, and the ligament which which supports the tooth and supports it the alveolar bone. We called it periodontal ligament. So today we are going to talk about the disease of chronic periodontitis. Perio means around, and remember around the tooth around the tooth we have alveolar bone we have alveolar bone we have alveolar bone supported by this ligament so we are saying this first of all is a slow process. This is a slow disease. This disease takes place slowly. Takes place slowly in a way that it doesn't in a way that it does not happen in one day. Usually in statistics in our usual reference especially Kalanza will tell us that this is the main cause of tooth loss, especially in adults. So you shall find that many of the adults, they lose the teeth without even what? Holes. And we talked about that, that this one can be a cause or is a prolonged effect of chronic marginal gingivitis. Usually. Of course, not all. So we are saying, as a result of chronic, chronic marginal gingivitis, which of course has plague, we shall, it is going to continuously be slow, continuously be slow, involving destruction of this alveolar bone and periodontal what? Ligament. In so doing, we shall have what? The teeth lose support alone. They lose support they shake and they can easily be extracted or they can easily be mobile and lost without any holes. That is a simple way of defining chronic periodontitis. We are saying usually it is a side effect, usually it can be a side effect or not a side effect, it can be a complication. It can be a complication of chronic marginal gingivitis. Remember, I talked about chronic marginal gingivitis, the, the situation where the gum is swollen. And we said because there are many types of gum, we are saying a combination of all is a chronic marginal gingivitis. So if it is not treated, we are likely to find ourselves in what? We are going to find ourselves in chronic periodontitis. What is chronic periodontitis? This is what we are defining it as it is. We are saying that before we go to science, even somehow we can also have systemic factors as we shall see that are so related to chronic periodontitis. We shall cite examples like in HIV patients, sometimes in smoking and even in diabetes before we can go there in the DM, in the HIV, and in the smoking. In our next videos, we are going to give explanation of how these ones are related to the destruction of the gum disease and or of the gum and pedosium. Signs and symptoms. We have bleeding or plumbing. 
Probing, we are just meaning touching on the gum with a blunt instrument. Even when people are blushing, they are eating, there will also always be bleeding of the gum. Gum recession. Gum recession. What is gum recession? We say that the, the tooth is supposed to have a gum level around here. Cement enamel junction. But because there is the other characters or there is plaque, not of plaque which is involved in the chronic marginal gendivitis, it is going to harden to cause what you call plaque. It's going, sorry, it's going to hard, plaque is going to harden to cause what you call caritulas. And the caritulas will keep on pushing between the tooth here, between the tooth and alveolar bone, pushing this one down. If this was the gum level, it pushes it down until when we are around this level. Remember, this was the level of the gum, but we can't. In, in many people shall see the roots are what? Are seen. So the movement, this is of the gum level from this level to this one, is what you call gum recession. A gum recession is a cardinal sign of chronic periodontitis. It is also associated with tooth mobility. Tooth mobility is, you are going to find our tooth, the, the tooth mobile, because all this area here is destroyed. We talked about periodontia. I said in the periodontia, all the periodontal ligament, we have fibers here. The apical fibers, which are here, the horizontal fibers, the crest fibers, when all of these are destroyed by caritulas as it is causing the recession, we are when we are going to have a tooth not being supported. Thus, you have because even here we have interradicular fibers, horizontal fibers, of course, the crest fibers are the first ones to be what to be destroyed, as you are going to see, as you saw in the video about uh, periodontal, ligament, uh, periodontal fibers or ligament all here they are destroyed so we shall find ourselves without support of the tooth so this is what, what causes what? tooth mobility pocket formation in our previous video I also talked about what you call a gingival crevice and we say gingival crevice is the area with the area, gingival crevice. We say gingival crevice is the area between the tooth, between the tooth and alveolar bone. We say that this area is supposed to be having a, a normal depth between two to three millimeters because it is measured by a periodontal probe. But in instances where it is diseased, where it is diseased, around here, it becomes what? Pocket. Halitosis. Halitosis. So before we go, we shall say a diseased gingival crevice. It is a periodontal pocket and because you said the other one the normal one is between two to three millimeters as measured by a periodontal probe this one is above four millimeters i already explained that in the previous videos here i'll talk of halitosis halitosis is a bad smell from the mouth. Some people can also call the nose, but from the oral cavity. This one is due to black. And because there is black and there is a bridging of the gum and there is pain there, 
you cannot do what? Blush. And therefore, we have food retained there, which is causing what? Halitosis. Pain on occlusion. Of course, once there is disease or there is tenderness of these fibers that are holding the tooth, we are not going to find ourselves uh, isn't when biting. The moment an individual bites and we have tenderness or inflammation around this area, we shall find what? Pain. The moment someone bites, of course the pain will the, the forces be trans, tra, uh, was trans, tra, transmitted to these forces at the apex, at the apex of the teeth and we shall be having what? Pain. Therefore, on when there is occlusion, there is what? There is pain. Of course, there are other points like pain on eating. There are other points like difficulty in occlusion, but these ones are the major ones. Signs and symptoms are done. What of the management? The management of this, of course, would be to remove the real what? Cause. And the real cause, we say, in most cases, although not all, it is due to what? To plaque. Because the plaque causes chronic marginal genitivitis that is complicating to become what? Periodontitis. So now, we need to remove this. How do you remove plaque? We do it by by what? By doing scaling. Scaling is the removal of what? Of calitulus. We say the calitulus is the hardened plaque. So we remove it by doing what? Scaling and what? And polishing. We can say manual scaling. We can say artisan scaling. Whichever type of scaling, what is important here is to remove what? Calitulus, which is the causative what? Agent. What is the what is causing all these what? Problems. So scaling is the removal. Of course, polishing is the smoothening of the area where we have removed that what? That dark substance or that hard substance called calculus. There are of course levels of mobility. Sometimes you shall find in individuals where the teeth is mobile. We shall maybe at a later time uh, look at teeth mobility levels. There is grade 1 mobility when it is shaking. When it is shaking. When it is shaking. Uh, in another mobility, when it is shaking horizontally and vertically. Grade 1, shaking only horizontally. In the grade two, shaking horizontally and what? And vertically. In the grade three, it is what? Worse. So, in other words, we are saying we are going to talk about those grades in details. But for today, we are saying there are different grades. But in the grades where the tooth is very mobile, in a level where the tooth is very mobile then the tooth has to do what has to come out or be removed. Sometimes you may not even intend to extract it, but as you're removing the other calliculus, you find that this calliculus, which had held it, it just uh, gets out of its own. And therefore, it would be very important to warn your patient that in the process of removing this calliculus, some of these teeth will be lost. Oral health education. You tell the patient how to how to remove teeth. Sorry, how to remove uh, remnants of food. How to brush. How to floss. The food is to eat. All those is part of what oral health education. In the previous video, we have a video about do this to prevent gum disease and halitosis. You are going to find those principles of oral hygiene. Brushing, flossing, visiting your dentist, use of valid products, all of those you are going to find there. Then lastly, vitamin C. Vitamin C is very important because it boosts 
the immunity of the gum. That is very important. Don't forget to like. Click the word like. Don't forget to subscribe and share with other students from other institutions. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.